Hi everybody, um, I thought I'd um, just show off some of the more, like, better deals I've gotten on Toy Story toys. Now, normally when I talk about getting a deal, it's like three to five dollars off what it would normally be. But these are more like fifteen dollars or more. These are really good deals. I thought I'd just show off three different toys I have and I'll just explain why, how and why I got these. Okay, so this first one um, is the original 1995 Buzz Lightyear. I just recently did a review on this. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, um, we go to a lot of thrift stores and whatnot. Or not thrift stores. A lot of farmer's markets and stuff. And there was this farmer's market that was selling, like, glass stuff. And they just happened to have this buzz. Um, someone pointed it out to me, and I got it for five bucks. So, like, I mean, it is missing a couple things. Of course, it's missing his helmet. Um, his head, when I got it, it was actually, like, completely removed. Like, dislocated from his head. Like, someone had ripped it off entirely. So I had, did have to Gorilla Glue it. And that's why there is some of that white stuff left on it. It also did not have a actual light year sticker. This is one that um, I printed from my label maker, which I kind of want to do a video on. Because they're pretty useful if you have a buzz that doesn't have the um, light year name tag thing on it. But, yeah, and also, of course, the wings, as I showed in the review... Um, do not work, which is very common for the original buzzes. But the surprising thing for me was that he worked. Um, I originally thought only the voice commands work, but the, after doing a little bit of internal cleaning on the laser, I have discovered the laser also works. So, yeah. To infinity and beyond, I am Buzz Lightyear. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. And the laser, of course, is to push a bit hard. But um, I'm not going to go too in-depth on this because I have already done a review on him. He's the only one that I'm showing off that did have a review done on him. And he is the original 1995 one since there are screws near the top of his, near his um, shoulders or whatever. Secondly, we have um, Hasbro's 20, 2000, no, Hasbro's 2001 um, Deluxe Electronic Talking Buzz Lightyear. This is the one that came with the utility belt and was the first one to have the opening wings. However, um, as a common thing for these, of course, the wings do not come off. The uh, wings do come off, and... Mine just happens to have them off. It's it's kind of hard to find some that do actually have their wings. But I did end up purchasing this at another farmer's market for about like eight bucks, I believe. And he's got a fair bit of yellowing. He's probably the worst deal out of a lot of these. There and uh, kind of a little bit on the laser bit. And, of course, he is missing his sticker on the front. But, I mean, for 8 bucks for one of these guys, it isn't really that bad, since I think they normally go for, like, 30 25 to 30 bucks. And, of course, he does still work. I have a laser, and I'll use it. Hang on, cowboy. Anti-gravity belt. Standard issue. Um, that and whatnot. Here is the back, as I said, he does not have the wings, but they do of course still pop out, so if I do somehow get lucky enough to find separate wings, um, I can just put them on and replace them. But yeah, that's all there is to say much about this buzz. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have... The original 1995 um, Thinkway Woody talking action figure. Now, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on my 
channel at all whatsoever, but this is perhaps, um, after getting him, one of my favorite woodies ever made. Um, I know he does have the weird bendable bits, but I think that just adds to the, like, kind of bizarreness to him, and, um, it's just kind of, like, bizarre stuff. Of course, I have not done a review on him, and I did post the sayings, so... I, again, bought this for five bucks, which is kind of ironic, because that's the same price I paid for the original 1995 Buzz, so I bought both of them for about five bucks each. Now, of course, he is missing his hat, um, but yeah, and the surprising thing um, with the five dollars, because I've seen a lot of these that just don't work at all, um, so... It was to my surprise that when I brought him home and put some batteries in him and pulled the string, my name's he works. Um, he works pretty well, and the speaker is quite clean. I also just really happen to like the string. It's I think I may be mistaken, but this is moving accurate. Um, of course, I have a stand put on him. And the weird thing about the original Woody is that he did have bendable arms, which look kind of uncanny if you can get them into weird positions. Um, mine did still have the wires intact, which is pretty cool. Of course, the legs um, do have them snapped, so they do. They are loose here but you can still bend them on the legs there. Yeah, I think that is the telltale difference between the 1995 ones also, is that the spurs are not connected to the boots entirely. Not sure about that. But either way, um, I really like this Woody. I got him for a really good deal. And I think I have a eBay lot coming in the mail soon that has another one of these with his hat, which is pretty exciting because that means that I can have him for that much. And this is a Woody that goes for quite a bit of money on um, mine. I think I've seen him go up for like 40, 30, 40 bucks, which is pretty expensive. So there we have it. That is the three um, action figures or whatever that I um, desired to include in this in their entirety. So just going off by prices, got him for $5, him for $8, and him for $5. Now if I find some other really good deals or I happen to find some other ones that I remember, had good deals on, um, I will decide on reviewing them or not, but at the moment, these are the three that I've been able to find, but I think they're pretty, pretty decent contenders for being pretty, really cheap, um, working large Toy Story action figures, um, yeah, that's the video, like, subscribe, or whatever, and I'll see you later.